Thank you guys for watching the Animal One Guys YouTube channel. If you like my content, leave a comment down below. Ask me questions, let me know what you liked about it. And hey, click on the little like button. But please, if you want, go ahead and subscribe because it helps my channel out. That way you can stay up to date with all my videos. And if you want, click on the bell icon to get notified. Right? Right? Huh? One out of two. Not bad. Hey, Reptile Rescue family. I thought we'd do this quick video today because Orion, my leopard gecko, he just shut out. And I thought this is really important to show people what causes leopard geckos to lose their toes. It's very common when you see leopard geckos, and he's just being super active this morning. It's very common when you see leopard geckos and you look at their toes, they'll be missing parts of their toes. Sometimes you won't see the nail or they'll be missing their whole toe in general. And a couple of reasons, we're just gonna explain why this most commonly happens because he's got one part of it going on right now and how easy it is guys to prevent it. So this is gonna be a shorter video, but really informative. So leopard geckos, when they shed, they shed their whole body at a time. It's not like another lizard that as they get older, they shed just parts of their body. Leopard geckos will shed their entire suit. Orion will look pale white when he's getting ready to shed. And then he, and then his whole body will shed out. But leopard geckos do something that a few other things do like pixie frogs and whatnot. Leopard geckos eat their entire shed. That's right. They get the nutrients from their shed and that's how they actually shed off. They break it off of their face and then they, you guys know if you own a leopard gecko, they can, um, bend their body pretty much all over and they will use their face and their mouth and they will bite and they will eat the whole shed. It's pretty impressive actually. But what happens sometimes is you do get stuck shed. The most common place it will happen is, oh, he's making noise because he's a little unhappy. The most common place it will happen is on their feet. And that has to do with their toes because sometimes the shed will get stuck on the nails or in between two of their toes. And what can happen is two things. This is how they'll lose toes. If they're not humid enough or if they've ever had shed build up, the leopard gecko actually can bite off their own toes during when trying to remove shed. And sometimes... They don't bite their toes off all the way, but it's very common that you will find little bloody toes after a shed or some little blood marks. And you'll see it's on their feet, and that's from the leopard gecko struggling to get the shed off, and he's just biting his toes repeatedly and repeatedly. And eventually, maybe he gets the shed off. Maybe he doesn't. Maybe he has to bite off the tip of his toe. Maybe he bites off the whole toe, half a toe, or maybe he leaves the shed there, and there is the problem. When the shed stays there... Here's what will happen. And if you look at Orion, look at that. He's got some shed stuck on his back left foot on the second toe. And this is actually, I broke when getting ready to film it because it was actually connecting the two middle toes. So he couldn't get this shed off all the way and it got stuck. And what can happen is if that stays there, that can cut off circulation and that can naturally just make his toe, his extremity die, whether it's on a toe or on the tip of his tail and whatnot. Or the next time he goes to shed, it will be even harder to get off because now you'll have an extra layer of stuck shed and he'll bite his toe off. And that's really common. They bite their own toes off if things are not perfect. So all you got to do, guys, is get rid of it. In this case, it's identified their stuck shed. There it is. It's that white stuck shed. It's not that big of a deal. It's easy to fix. But you have the people in the old camps that say, don't ever help your reptile shed. That's so wrong and that's so old, um, which is really unfortunate. So I'm just going to grab, this one's just stuck around his nail. I don't have to soak him. I'm just going to grab it. I'm just going to take it off. If it were still on his toe, I'd put him in a nice little Tupperware with a piece of paper towel and some really warm water for about 10 minutes and it would loosen it and then it would slide right off like a glove. But let me just remove that piece of stuck shed from his toe and then show you what it looks like. Okay, look, there's the piece of stuck shed right on my right on my finger. It was nothing. Now you can see it. it is the length of the whole toe. So he did peel most of it off and then it got stuck just at the tip, which is really common. But if we look at Orion's feet, his feet are perfect. Full toes, let me flap in his tail, and nails on every single foot so he's never had a problem that I haven't been able to address 
with removing stuck shad. But this is why it's important, guys. Check your leopard geckos after they go through a shed. Check their toes. It's very common for stuck shed to be left on their toes. And you can easily get it off either just by removing of it if it's on the nail or by giving them a soak and just sliding it off with your fingers. No special tools needed. Okay, guys, take care. You're just going all over the place, huh? You just, just want to be so excited this morning. You're crazy. Crazy. Thank you guys for supporting my reptile rescue family.